aerospace engineering is all around us. It's in the curves of your car and the frisbees we fling, the planes we pilot and the blades of your fan, even satellites that forecast a sunny day. And have you ever heard of the phrase, when pigs fly? Aerospace engineers might just figure that one out too. How can we make objects aerodynamic? Have you ever stuck your hand out a car window? You probably felt much less resistance when your palm faced the ground than when it faced the wind. Aerospace engineers use the same idea to streamline aircraft wings and bodies. Some model fluid flow with computers, while others use water channels or wind tunnels. Can you imagine standing inside a house-sized hairdryer? How can we propel things through the air? Propulsion engineers design air-breathing engines for planes that scoop air in the front, then heat, compress, and push the air out the back. That's what moves the plane forward. Spacecraft heading to the moon or Mars rely on rocket engines that instead burn fuel, creating a fiery blast-off. But it's not all rocket science. Have you ever wondered why rotating blades can lift a helicopter, but not your house fan? An aerospace engineer could explain. It's all about the shape and speed. How can we use controls to pilot safely? Controls engineers designed the brains of aircraft, which convert a pilot's input to the right output. When a pilot banks, controls send a signal from the yoke to the ailerons and rudder, turning the plane. And when it enters turbulent winds, controls help keep the plane steady, preventing a disastrous crash. Some control systems are so smart, they can even guide a plane on autopilot. No hands required. How can we use gravity to travel in space? Aerospace engineers who specialize in orbital mechanics use physics to chart space flights. Based on Earth's gravity and rotation, and even local winds, they can break a spacecraft out of orbit and guide it safely back home. But timing is everything. If a spaceship breaks off too early or too late, it could miss its landing zone. That could mean crashing into the wrong continent or splashing down in the ocean. But with a little engineering, astronauts can live to space out another day. Aerospace engineers help us soar to new heights. So the next time you airmail a package, check the weather or... Well, we can all thank aerospace engineers.